Hello. All right, we're going to do the uh, altitude installation of the servo cat motor. Um, by this time, the motor over here should be attached to the side of the scope. There are four screws here that mount, and there are two washers that go in between this silver metal plate here and the actual wooden rocker box side. So make sure when you put the four bolts in that the, the bolts go through the metal plate, through two washers, and then go into the wood. Uh, essentially you want to keep this motor out far enough this way so that it doesn't impact any of these uh, acorn nuts that are on the side as the scope goes through its motion. Alright, so at this point the cable here should be around the bearing, should be through underneath the bearing, through one of the grooves in the pad in the front, through the other groove, through the pad in the back. Now we're going to start wrapping the cable around the pulley here for the motor. All right, so we're going to put this here, and with any luck, we could wrap it. We're going to take it and kind of twist it this way around. You might have to lift the bearing up a little bit to get the cable in between the pulley and the bearing surface. All right, pull that tight. That was one wrap. You're going to wrap it a second time, doing the same thing. All right, so again, you wrapped it. Pick it up again a little bit. All right, so essentially we've got two wraps there now. I'm going to take this loop and connect it here on the side to this spring. All right, so we hooked the loop into the end of the spring, and now we're going to pull it like that. That is now engaged. The scope cannot move up and down. When you want to move the scope manually, you disengage. That's as far as you want to go. Anything more is going to let that unspool, and you're going to have a world of trouble. So I'm going to take and leave it just straight up and down. So now you can move the scope up and down. And that locks it, so now you can start using the servo cat to move the scope on its own. So there you go. That should be how you install the altitude. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Thanks.